Hi, my little queen rights. It's your girl, Queen Jones, back live in the flesh. And yes, all over the counter is gizzard crumbs because doing this thumbnail was like, whoa, whoa, whoa. Am I going to get actual gizzards in this gut, though? Oh, my God. So... That was worth all that animation. I did extremely well today. Your girl has done her first recipe video where it's television style. Yeah, baby. Yeah. I am looking forward to Rickle James enjoying uh, the cheapness of gizzards because a pack of wings can cost anywhere from five to ten dollars. A pack of gizzards this can cost anywhere from a dollar to two dollars. So you do the math of how many more gizzards you can get as opposed to chicken wings. I'm just saying, I still do chicken wings. But in this quarantine, though, where they at, though? Where they at? Mm-hmm. I was going to get some sriracha. But, oh, yeah. I got big cheeks. So when I be chewing... I'll be scraping the heck out of my cheek, too. That heck. Look at that. It's so wet. I'm just like it's you. Essentially, that's what's going on. Yo. Wash your hands. Period. I was listening to somebody today, and they were like, I don't know if it's just me, but I think it's in other people's cultures to wash hands and and I was like that just makes you sound stupid that is an ignorant statement within itself because you're just trying to make it seem like your culture isn't hygienic don't be saying stupid shit tacky ain't no need ain't no need It'd be different if you just like um don't like certain soaps or something like that but it just seemed like that that person just didn't want to be clean and i have an issue with that all right aside from that that's the biggest anxiety i've gotten from the coronavirus is people just being on stupid stuff and i think it's cute or whatever for the first couple hours but when it messes with other people who are chilling it bothers me because I'm like I just like to cook it and lick it but y'all trying to blow through the shelves because y'all scary wow I bet nobody's going to comment how many people weren't washing their hands before this. Nobody's going to put that down there and be like, mm-hmm. I feel like I've been stagnating on my hand washing process. And this is a pure quarantine coronavirus moving I ain't got nothing else to talk about y'all
Well, I feel like one, I don't be eating fried foods like this. My siblings, of course, are not up to eat this with me. It's just so good that I want to say some because I know when other people get a hold of it, I'm not going to have none. So it'd be nice if I could have shared initially, but now I have to hide this in my refrigerator. And that's a true sacrifice of the oldest child. Oh my God, you can see my lighting rink right here. This whole entire time, it's still gonna be in a video. This is true not editing. I'm just literally eating these gizzards because they're so good. Oh my God. I'm eating gizzards with my light rink. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I wonder what else you can see. I'm not running a casino on the side, I promise you. So, stock up on regular stuff, like beans and canned goods. Toilet paper has been talked about too much. I don't give it shiitake. Mm-hmm. Let the small joys of life ease your anxiety. I just don't like people in disarray when I'm out, especially when I need to do stuff for errands. The head. There's one thing that somebody used to tell me all the time. Actually, multiple. I'm around you specifically. There's only one person you can control in life. It's yourself. I'm getting the itis. I'm not gonna lie. But, um, that's been a big thing in here. Like, as this spread spreads, as more news coverage and more research is going to be done on this virus, please know the only person that you can control is yourself. So if you're not protecting yourself when you are feeling symptomatic or you're not putting yourself in a position to engage with multiple populace, you'll be able to survive. And realistically, if this is a big, huge issue, we're gonna do everything we can to preserve our communities and ourselves. So wake up in the morning with some, um, some, growth excuse me up here burping child because um my body like don't eat no more but it's so good mm. oh my god i guess the eyes but i still like it so Taking parts of you and really understanding every point of you. This is the perfect time to do it. Because you have all this time. And they're talking about sending us checks in the next couple of weeks. And I'm just like, you gonna do that for real though? You gonna do that for real though, dog? For us. But then... I also have to think about all the, the tangent things of all the negative parts of what this can bring. Again, who can you control? You see here how it can be a duality. That's what media does. It makes you be like, oh, good, bad, good, bad. Don't allow yourself to feed into media. Don't allow yourself to feed into the store hype. Allow yourself to be grounded in what you know is true and facts. 
and lead your life as such clean your house um and really be real with yourself like are you in a situation that you need to take time off are you in a in a um a non-essential uh work category bring all those validities to your your mind and really see what you want to do because you deserve to be healthy um you deserve to be balanced so the world can um do what it needs to do to be where we reside at now so as long as you're ready for it push that orient um and we'll see how it goes and we'll see how many more quarantine meals that we can get i scavenged um a couple things out of the store that people are not looking at and paying attention to aloe vera still available lemons citrus in general make your own brews and tonics i'm telling you because uh if you're gonna be on lockdown you're gonna have to start figuring out what you actually got and you better hope that you got stuff from the store that was actually gonna help you because you gotta make yourself have a immune system if or a stronger immune system during crises like this you feel me hmm what else I'm up here trying to, to force this rest this down because it's so good. Man, this is a struggle to have. Like, this is a good one. Look, on a side note, the grease from the gizzards definitely have given my lips a luscious look. Mmm. I wish I didn't get the eye so fast when I cook my food. Like, all my food, when I eat, I'm not going to lie, it makes me hella sleepy. Um, I think that's God's way of saying, like, good job, go to sleep. And with that being said, Queen Lights, don't let this virus bring your mentality to a low vibration. Let your soul vibrate to where it needs to, because you definitely have time. Okay, outside, I be looking for my recipe video for the gizzards coming soon. But until then, enjoy this quick little mute bang, mute bang, muck bang, mute bang, bang bang. Hopefully, one day I'll, I'll actually correctly say it. But um, if you want to keep on uh, endorsing me, like Rickle James. Comment down below what you would like to have, and we'll make it. Until then, Rico James, you want to hit this. You want to hit this. I got you. Bye, my little queen. Bye. One more. One more, baby. One more. Come on. One more for the fans. One more for the queen mites. One more. Let's do it. Nick Avocado has... I'm gonna go up this shot session because it's one tired or bye.